Good morning everybody, Claire here from Buttercup Creations Art. How are you all doing? Firstly, I'd like to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you ever so much for being interested in my channel. I hope I inspire you and give you amazing ideas to create your own masterpieces. So here we go. So we are on the third handbag journal slash satchel. Um, so this is the third one, a flip through, and it's the Woodland Fairies one. So with all these handbag journals, you do get the satchel as well. Um, so you can either keep it in your handbag, because as you can see, it is the size of a handbag. So you either can keep it in there or you can use that separately and have that on display to write all your amazing goodies in there. Right, so here we go. So it's a double flip through. So I've got some old twine and wood beads to hold it together. And as you can see, I have done some embroidery on the front. Um, this is freehand drawing. And then obviously I've done my artist bits. <laughs> so we have some um, real nice green trim. We have our metal corner pieces. Under this bit of lace, there's some vintage lace that I've put through. Then we've done some blanket stitch. And then I've put some brown buttons on there. Got that sort of rustic feeling. Flip over. And this is the spine to the front bit, which is where all your ephemera and embellishments are. And then I will see that's your writing section. So we flip over and that's your writing section there. And then that's the back bit there. It does measure just over five inches going widthways and six and a half inches going that way. So it's a good size journal and everything you've got packed in there as well. So we're going to go onto this side first. So here we've got firstly an envelope there ready and waiting. I will put the link below of the digitals that I have used for this journal. Please take a look at their um, Etsy shops. They've got some beautiful um, digitals available for all sorts. So here we go. There's that bit. So and then this bit, I'm just making sure I'm in camera. So this is your first signature and then you've got one there. And then you do have another third signature there where the writing section is. So we have pocket, pocket, pocket. Flip out. And then we've got a pocket here. And beautiful digital of mushroom children. And then this side we've got envelope. And an envelope and then pretty another little pretty image this flips out and then we have a pocket there we have a little writing section here and a pocket there close that flip it out so you've got another tuck there and then we have a belly band there so we'll close that one up then we'll flip it over and you can see you've got another two pockets in the second signature. So you've got your pocket there, pretty little um, fairy on the front. You have a belly band and a pocket. Uh, so these pockets have been done so you can get a few items in there. Um, then you have a, oh, not pretty that image. So you have a pocket there and a pocket there. And we'll flip out. We have a pocket here and a belly band. An envelope, pocket and a belly band. So that's that one. And then it flips over and then you've got a pocket, tuck, tuck. Just there. So you've got another one. Okay, so that's that side. And then we'll flip over into the book section um, and then as I said you've got another one of these another signature with your ephemera and where you can put all your goodies so on the front you've got a nice deep thick pocket you've got a pocket here 
tuck and a pocket. We've got tuck, tuck, tuck. <laughs> Lots of tucks. And then we flip out. We've got a tuck here and a tuck there. Now, I love these images that you get in this digital kit for the fairies. Really pretty ones. So lots of goodies. Then we have an envelope and an envelope. Then another pocket tuck there. And then, are you ready? <laughs> and another pocket there. <laughs> so and then we've got some vintage lace going on here. And then we go into your writing section. Um, so there's different types of paper so you've got your digitals you have oh my stuff there um you have your hand coffee dye paper this is antique paper that you buy in a pack from amazon so you can see the nice digitals there um i have the vintage music paper so it's like very fine but as you can see, there's loads and loads of writing spaces, loads of areas that you can actually put your photos, um, your own little mementos. I mean, it'd be lovely to put a photo here. Um, I'll just get an image. So just in case you've, you're new to junk journaling, so you could have a little photo of somebody you care about. Put that in there when you've got music paper to back the photo. Um, anything you like <laughs> that's the best bit about junk journaling is it inspires you to create your own little um, art pieces in your own journals so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this flip through um it's been absolute pleasure i've got one more to do which is this one which is the peacock one which i will be doing off screen um i'll just do the flip through at the end when i've finished it but that's just the writing area at the moment as you can see and i've got all the goodies to create all the pockets and everything but i will only just do a flip through that one because i don't want to bore you doing the same thing over and over again um and then the next videos I'm hoping to start doing two Christmas ones. Um, I need to do a little bit of sewing beforehand to create the casing. Because um, I'm hoping to do, like, you know, the old um, fluffy pyjamas that you'd wear with the pocket on. Or things like that. So I've got a million ideas playing around in my head. <laughs> so creating new cases for them okay so i hope you enjoyed it thank you ever so much for joining me and thank you for subscribing to my channel um if you're a bit bored check out the other videos i'm sure there's something that'll give you a bit of an idea um and remember these are on my etsy shop and they're on offer at the moment as well um so thank you once again I keep saying thank you, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I hope you have a fantastic day, even if it's raining and miserable where you are. Have a great day and happy crafting. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.